Hello, I am Dr. Dhruva Rai, practicing ENT at Manipal Hospital Mukundapur. Today I will tell you some of the difficult situations of the year which you may be presented with, which you should never neglect also. One is a sudden hearing loss with funny sounds in the ear like crackling sounds or bubbling sounds you should never neglect. Second is a purulent ear discharge, pus coming out from the ear or what a discharge coming out of the ear. Third is if your facial asymmetry is noted, that is your face is looking abnormal on one side, either left or right. I mean it, you are smiling, your mouth is bending, angle of mouth is bending, it is something serious. Fourth, if you are having excruciating pain which is abnormal, like if you move the ear with your even with your finger or if you put a bird also or if you undress also, it is giving you pain, that is a bad sign. And the last is the bleeding from the ear. Please don't neglect these five things if you have in your ear. Regarding ear infections, the commonest cause of ear infections are cold. If your child has cold, he may have ear pain and that pain may end up with ear discharge and hearing loss, not to be neglected. If your mother, elderly mother is having ear pain, the commonest cause is probably impacted wax, which is giving pain in the ear. Please don't neglect it. And in the working group, the commonest things which you seem to neglect is water entry in the ear and then what we want to do is, we try to do is put in a bird and try to clean the ear. That ends up with external canal wall infection and severe pain in the ear. So abstain from cleaning the ear with birds. It is absolutely unscientific. Don't try to put in mustard oil, coconut oil in the ear that creates fungus and then ends up with otomycosis, a very painful condition of the ear. So for taking care of the ear, the commonest things which you should do is Please do not clean your ear with birds. Try wax softeners available in the market. <coughs> available in the market. And don't try to ever dress up your ear with any sort of ointments like available in the market. Like I don't want to name the brand names. All the creams. Please don't do that. That is something to be neglected. And regarding your children, please don't give any sort of uh, you know trouble to the child uh, without showing a doctor because sometimes you know. Pain from the ear is basically a sign of increased enlarged tonsil or enlarged adenoids, giving a lot of trouble to the child, ending up with hearing loss. Thank you very much.